ruined. The whole entire Christmas is going to be ruined. Literally. If, we, if everyone stops believing, it's going to be ruined. Completely. And then all the all the rangers' magics are gonna be not all of the all of the rangers are not gonna be able to fly if if the magic doesn't go. We have to believe. Okay, that was my little niece Kale trying to get everybody to understand that if you don't believe in the magic of Christmas, the reindeer can't fly and she won't get her presents. So. Please make sure you don't give up on the magic of Christmas this year. Anyways, now that we've had that very important public service announcement, uh, let me announce also that it is December 15th. That means there are just 10 days left until Christmas. Today's episode will be episode number 350, and this will be a good one. This is Christmas Around the World. This is a 20 question trivia quiz and if you like this type of trivia, if you like it being read out loud, if you enjoy these games, subscribe to this channel. We post new trivia quizzes just like this every day at noon central standard time. Good luck on today's quiz. Question 1. What Christmas themed ballet premiered in St. Petersburg, Russia in 1892. I'll give you a hint. The song that's playing right now is from this ballet. The answer is the Nutcracker. Question 2. A traditional French dessert served after the main Christmas dinner is the Bouche de Noël, also known as what? I may have butchered how you say that. Bouche de Noël? It is also known as the Yule Log. It looks like a giant Swiss cake roll. Question 3. In what modern day country was St. Nicholas born? The answer is Turkey. Question 4. For the children in what country, the best day of the year is the 5th of December when Santa Claus fills their clogs with candy and treats? The answer is the Netherlands. Question 5. Which type of sweet bread loaf, which originated in Milan, is traditionally eaten at Christmas in Italy and many other European countries? It is called panettone. Question 6. In 1836, what U.S. state became the first state to officially declare Christmas as a legal holiday? The answer is Alabama. Question 7. In Oaxa City, Mexico, 
Noche de Rabanos is celebrated every December 23rd. Which food gives this festival its name? I'm sure I butchered all the pronunciations in that sentence, and I'm sorry. It is the radish, or the night of the radishes. Question 8. Which country has a tradition of a witch dropping gifts for children through the chimney at Christmas? The country is Italy, the witch is La Bafana. Question 9. Which country follows the tradition to light candles on the graves of relatives on Christmas Eve? The answer is Finland. Question 10. In the early 1800s, the first gingerbread houses were reportedly inspired by what famous German fairy tale? The answer is Hansel and Gretel. Question 11. Canada, the UK, and most other Commonwealth countries officially celebrate the day after Christmas as what holiday? The answer is Boxing Day. Question 12. Since 1947, which country gifts the Christmas tree that is placed at the Trafalgar Square in London in gratitude for Britain's support during World War II? The answer is Norway. Question 13. How do you say Merry Christmas in Spanish? The answer is Feliz Navidad. Question 14. In what country did the custom of putting up a Christmas tree originate? That was also Germany. They love Christmas in Germany. Question 15. What is Santa Claus called in France? The answer is Père Noël, sometimes Papa Noël. Question 16. Good King Wenceslas 
was the Duke of what country? The answer is Bohemia. Question 17. According to the folklore of Austria and other countries, what horned figure punishes naughty children at Christmas time? The answer is Krampus. Question 18. In an attempt to show the country his commitment to conservation, which American president banned Christmas trees in the White House? The answer is Theodore Roosevelt. Question 19. To what country is the poinsettia, with its red and green foliage, a native plant? The answer is Mexico. And question 20 is a hard one, but if you know, then you know. Question 20, what special zip code did the Canadian Post Office create for Santa Claus? The answer? is H0H0H0. If you read that out when it's written out, it spells ho ho ho, which is pretty clever for a Canadian. So if you're mailing a letter to Santa Claus in Canada, that's the zip code you use, ho ho ho. And if you're mailing it from America, then mail it to the North Pole where he lives. That way he'll actually receive it and you'll actually get your presents. Thank you for watching this episode of Road Trivia. This was number 350. It is December 15th. There are now 10 days left until Christmas. Anything you haven't done yet, Gingerbread House, uh, you should have already started your advent calendar. You should be watching all the Christmas movies, including uh, It's a Wonderful Life, The Grinch, Home Alone 1 and 2. Oh, you better watch Home Alone 1 and 2 because that is the trivia category for tomorrow's quiz. Just a little heads up. December 16th, Home Alone 1 and 2. Thank you for watching. See you back here tomorrow for that. Merry Christmas.